water authorization and access controls. In this video, we will try to understand that. As we discussed in one of our previous videos, when a user logs into an account using his username and password, the user claims his identity using the username. And the password proves that the user is who he claims to be. In other words, the username helps in the identification and the password helps in the authentication. But after authentication, we need to determine what all resources the user can access. We use the authorization process for that purpose. And we need tools and systems to implement authorization. We use access controls for that purpose. In other words, authorization is the process of determining what all resources an authenticated party can access. And access controls are the tools and systems to implement authorization. Access controls can be based on various factors such as physical attributes, sets of rules, lists of users, their roles, etc. Access controls can allow access, deny access, limit access or revoke access to resources. For example, we can use access controls to give a user access to a specific file, deny other users from accessing that file, limit the user from accessing all files of the system and revoke access of the user to the file after the work is done. I hope this helps. Interested viewers who want to know more, please visit the website of the security body or refer to the playlist information security. The security body also provides many cyber security courses. The relevant links are provided in the description. You can also subscribe to us and get notifications on recent videos.